Well, just had a catch. I'm not too happy about it, but I think it's fixable. Oh, damn, that's a bad one. All right, Let's see what we can do to fix it, if anything. We got rid of our catch. Let's bring this straight down a little bit and then we will work on our foot. Oh, that's cool. problem is I got that one section right there whole rest of this thing is fine except that one section I have to skinny that out some That'll go with polish. All right, how we look? I'd say it looks pretty good. I'm gonna clean this up just slightly. That'll be good. Got that taper cleaned up. Looks pretty straight to me. All right, let's uh, polish this up with just some 600 grit wet dry, and then uh, we will get this parted off and do its full polish. All right, let's get this polished up. Just got some 600 grit 3M wet dry sandpaper. You get most uh, most stores or automotive dealers. And let's just do our rough polishing, get this to its, uh, its final dimensions, and then we'll go through and get the actual polish done. So this is mostly going to be doing its final shaping. Now this would be a great shape for wood uh, as well, but uh, for resin this is kind of a tough one to polish. This corner right here, I was kind of thinking of this as I was making that. I mean, without that corner this would look kind of silly. With that corner it actually looks like a cup, but uh, it does make it difficult to get in and polish that up with the sanding paper, and it's not going to be any easier with the polishing pads either. All right, that's looking pretty good. So I'll start switching over to my polishing pads and get this onto its final polish. Alright, so I got this sanded through with 1500 grit. And you can see there, it's got a pretty good finish already. But it's not quite suit crafting uh, quality. So let's get this parted off and then we will get our finishing polish on. Alright, now I'll just simply work on flattening off this face. Let's get 
get this all polished up. I will see you guys when it's ready for liquid polishing. Alright, just got done going through with actually the polishing papers. I've got these uh, polishing papers here that I used on these just because it was hard to get into these curves with the uh, polishing pads. And they, they worked really, really well. So let's go ahead and get this hit with some uh, hot ultra gloss. side here, buff that off. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Get this off of here. Thread on our bottle stopper end. Check out the top of that. See if I can get it to shift colors for you. It's got that blue, purple, red in the top and some of that blue interference powder just kind of cutting through each other's pretty sweet pretty sweet gotta be my favorite one this far I love that shape such a neat shape so cool